Here's a little supplemental to the uh, damage I had to my dirt pile uh, when we had the rain. If you saw the other video, um, I guess I can link it in the end here. But if you saw the other video, I've been taking dirt from the top of the hill, uh, digging out with a trencher, and then bringing it down here and dumping and spreading and compacting it with the Coyote tractor. Now, we had two straight days, two and a half days of pretty hard rains here uh, where everything was flooded. And I have footage of when the water was coming down. But I wanted to show what happens to the dirt. You know, as far as I can safely roll the tractor, uh, when I'm bringing the dirt out, I'm packing it down. I'm, I'm driving the tractor around, but I, I can't take it down this incline safely. Not with the box blade and the uh, front end loader on it. I just can't do it. And I can't drive sideways, so I really can't compact, excuse me, compact uh, the edge of this dirt. What I've been doing is increasingly getting out further and with the hopes of building some kind of retainer or building a more gradual slope at the end when I'm ready to finish, when I'm sure how much dirt is actually gonna stay here. Because again, this is partially to store the dirt I'm digging out of the hill. Uh, but if I had a retainer there, it would actually be the right shape and I could fill the triangular area between a vertical wall and the edge of that dirt with gravel or, or whatever and put a drain line in it behind there to drain the fluid or water out because that's what takes down a retaining wall, water, not, not weight or not dirt. But I wanted to show you just the gullet here to show you how much dirt I have brought out here and packed down. If you look here, this is the old yard underneath here, underneath this little trench here. And it rained so hard and we had so much water gushing here, it broke this pile of dirt apart. And it actually skinned the new dirt off the top. So you can see the old hill. Now it couldn't do it here because the old hill basically goes almost straight to the corner of the masonry porch there, right across here. And the rest of this is out of dirt, but it's, when you get out here to the unpacked areas, to the lightweight areas, when it gushed down this hill, it really took a lot of it out. You can look at here, uh, at all the little gullies that washed. I mean, we had some serious rain here for a few days. Uh, I didn't anticipate that. I, I felt like it was in good shape if we had normal rains, but I, I didn't expect that. And soon we'll be going into hurricane season, so I need to get jumping as soon as I get the trencher fixed. Uh, but over here around the shed, what I had created was a waterfall coming down. So the water in front of the workshop here, uh, because I wasn't planning ahead and I wasn't ready yet, uh, in front of the workshop here at the front doors, you can see the dirt at the bottom. And water was just standing out here at one point, rushing down the back of the hill here, where I haven't put my drain ditches in yet. And that was the next thing on the list with the trencher. Uh, so... Once I get that fixed, and that's an ongoing story on another video, uh, we, where I ordered a new piston for it, for the arm on the digger, and it came in, but I can't get a match with the fittings uh, that are on it. So my brother is helping me work on that right now. He works in hydraulics, so we're gonna do that. But I also have a problem with water rushing down the hill here because after taking out the old driveway and leaving this like it is, and putting all this dirt to the side here, I've turned the old driveway, which is coming up, but I've turned it into a real gully washer, a real riverbed when it rains and it just comes across here, you can see. So, uh, waiting to get that little piece of equipment working again so I can dig the drainage ditch through here so I can bypass all this water that's coming from the big pond I dug at the top. So you live and learn again, that's how we learn.